What's up, Sailors fam? Thanks again for tuning to another one of my videos. As some of you know, I am co-founder Trenton Scott, founder of the clothing brand in 2020 with the motivation to inspire our generation to do more and say less. Appreciate you tuning into this video. You're in a perfect place right now if you want the accurate information in order to make a change in your clothing brand to take it to the next level. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be getting right into it. Please subscribe, like, video, comment, share for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate all you tuning in. As you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be getting right into it, how I made 16K in three days. So with that being said, the first point on how I made 16K in, in three days with my clothing brand, and I can show you right here. So as y'all can see, it does say $16,000 in four days. It was roughly around three days, but um, you know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. So with that being said, I have the results. I'm going to give you the sauce on exactly how to get those results and even better with your clothing brand. The number one reason is promo. Promo, promo, promo. With your clothing brand, you guys, you should have, you know, built up your social medias. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of clothing brands starting off, you don't have a huge social media following, which is fine. Use TikTok. If you don't have a TikTok for your clothing brand, you know what I'm saying? You're behind the ball. You're behind the eight ball. Um, promo as in we promote on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Just showing the items um, and, you know, things of that sort. And we also have a text list sent a text to them, you know, dropped a new puffer coat, sent, sent a text to them. And we did drop a new, have a new drop. We're going to get into that later, but it's just, you know, very important to stay on top of trendy drops. If you know puffer coats are trending right now, go ahead and make a dope puffer coat, as I said in other videos on just to stick with trendy drops. So just promotion, promotion, promotion. Um, even if you have to get an influencer in your merch to post and pay them a little bit, just know that the influencers are going to make a huge difference to you and your brand but just know that you know what i'm saying the influencer can boost you up to the next level and the more and more consistently that people see your brand they're gonna just want it you know what i'm saying after several times after seven it takes seven times for somebody to see your brand to fully engage with it um by statistic st stats um so with that being said personal instagram build up your personal instagram because you yourself is a brand too your brand so you should be promoting your brand at all times on your platforms posting pictures in your merch a bunch of stuff you should wear nothing but your merchandise as far as promotion goes you know what i'm saying and also promoting is you know walking out giving out business cards to random people and things of that sort um of your brand getting follows building up it's a process but I'm telling you how I made 16K in three days and it was by promotion with our large Instagram and social media following that we have. We do have over 550K followers on TikTok and over 80, 80K followers on Instagram. So that obviously boosts us and help us out. But the way we got to those followers is simply the link is in the description. Free ebook telling you exactly how um, five steps to social media growth and growing your clothing brand um, in the specific way that we did. So, it, you know what I'm saying? We did a bunch of stuff to get to that point, but it was mainly a process and Facebook ads and things of that sort. Um, so also with promo, um, you know what I'm saying? Ads too. As far as ads go, you should be running Facebook ads. Return, just make sure it's a good return on your investment. If you're spending $16 a day, make 40 back at least. With ads nowadays to really get revenue and get profits, you really need 3x with Facebook ads. But without Facebook ads, you can't get that many orders um, unless you have organic engagement um, and things of that sort. So, you know, also that text list is getting the returning customers that like your brand to come back. So it's just a process with building up those lists and things of that sort. Um, and also, uh, you know, we're getting in right to point number two, wrapping up on point number one is just promotion. You know, you should be promoting on your personals, promoting on your body every day, promoting um, constantly, you know, sending to people, sending texts to people that know you want, that you know want to buy, give business cards to people you see, whatever the situation may be. Also, then the point number two on how I made 16K in three days is reasonable prices and expressing some value through my gear that I have. Uh, or you can say branding. 
So, um, you know, website, if your website looks nice, if your branding is nice, your conversion rate will be nice. Your conversion rate is the times how many people. So if the 100, 100 people come in your store and only one people, one person buys, you have a 1% conversion rate, my, my friend. And that's the average of most brands, 1% conversion rate. So if you can aim for 1% and over, you know, you're doing a pretty good job, my man. So with that being said, um, the number two point is reasonable prices and expressing extreme value and gear in gear and your branding. You know, make sure your website is nice. Um, and, you know, if you have an in-store location, make sure everything is displayed nice. If you have a kiosk, make sure it's displayed. Maybe um, do a sale. We'll get into that too. Um, but reasonable prices, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you know, crack nobody on the head. Get, if they know they're getting a deal, they're going to buy um, you see, we have our like gear out here for regular prices. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have a hoodie for $60, but our sweatsuit is 80. So when somebody hears a sweatsuit for $80, it makes them turn their head. Many sweatsuits don't sell for $80. You're getting an entire outfit for 80 bucks. So with that being said, a lot of people buy our sweatsuits due to that. Um, so it's just having reasonable prices and, you know, expressing value through the gear is just, you know, make sure it's good quality, make sure it has a good message behind it and it's motivating people and pushing people to, to the next level, bettering them, you know, it's cool drip, whatever the situation may be. So point number one is promo. Point number two is reasonable prices slash branding. Um, and number three is a sale. Throw a sale, buy one. And for, our, for this sale on how we made 16K in three days, we had buy two, get one free. Um, buy one, get one 50% off um, in our in-store location and along with our um, online. So that went really, really well for us. So if you throw sales, like buy one, get one free or buy one, just make sure it doesn't cut in your profits too much because, you know, back in the day, Eddie and I made a mistake when we had a big sale for 50% off. And at the end of the day, we look back at our sales after the day, after getting about 20 orders. You know, this is back in the day of, of us not being a six-figure clothing brand. But, you know, um, we had a 50% off and we ended up losing $50 even after getting 26 orders. Um, so, you know, just make sure you're doing the right things with your numbers, making sure you're making the right uh, money back in order to keep your brand going, but you can still throw a sale because more sales matter uh, at a higher volume than just selling like one piece for a hundred bucks. You would rather have 10 people buy 10 pieces for $10. Yes, it's more inventory, but you feel what I'm saying? It's a process. Throw a sale. So point number one is promo. Point number two is reasonable prices. Um, and expressing value in gear slash branding. And number three is throw a sale. Throw a sale to boost your rate. Get more get more people in your merchandise. And number four is just an add-on, a bonus point, which is an in-store location. Um, you know, I say this in several other videos. You need an in-store location, especially around the holiday time. Um, yes, the rent might be a little high, but I guarantee you, you're going to make your return on your investment. There's people in the mall shopping. If they see a new brand, they're going to be interested. If they see a new store, a new kiosk, they're going to be interested. They're going to want to see what it's about. So it's up to you to get them engaged. Go check out my other videos to see how to get your brand inside the mall. Um, and also, you know, what helped me make 16K in three days is aiming higher than 16k we weren't aiming for 16k you know what i'm saying i'm not going to say what we we're aiming for but you know what i'm saying it was much higher than 16k which allowed us to you know at that point give all our effort um and and put it all in all our eggs in one basket and as far as going super hard um to boost that revenue as throwing sales and doing whatever we got to do so you know that allowed us to make 16k in three days and also, you know, another bonus point is just to make sure that you have inventory on you. We don't want dead inventory that you're not going to sell. But having inventory on you for your brand is an asset as long as you get it off of you. So make sure you have the inventory to flip and the team to package up those orders in order to boost your revenue in that quick amount of time. So that's exactly how I made 16K in three days. And I hope some of those bonus points and some of those points helped you out um, to try to boost up your revenue as fast as possible. Trent and Scott checking out. Um, appreciate y'all tuning in for another video. And make sure to stay tuned for my other videos. Thanks.